Hello. Today we're going to learn something that is seen on an x-ray. So you'll quickly uh, take uh, an x-ray of the knee. This is the left knee and you're seeing that this is the uh, lower end of the femur. You can see the two femoral condyles and you can also see the patella that is superimposed over it. This shadow that you see is the patella. And below you can see that this is the uh, the tibia, so the tibial plateau and the, uh, the intercondylar region. And this is the upper end of the fibula. So we know that this is the lateral side and this is the medial side by the location of the fibula there. And if I clear all this, you can see that there is a, a clear space between the lower end of the femur and the upper end of the tibia. Uh, so this is the medial uh, femorotibial compartment of the knee joint and this is the lateral femoral femoral tibial compartment of the knee joint but there is an actual space that you see here so what is this space uh, uh, you may think that this is air or this is synovial fluid but actually uh, what happens is i'll, I'll just draw this uh, uh, parallelly i'll i'll draw the lower end of the femur here uh, this is supposedly the femoral condyles this will be the patella overlying it uh, and uh, <clears throat> this will be the upper end of the tibia you can see the tibial spines over here and uh, that will be the tibia and here you have the upper end of the fibula. So here uh, between these two bony surfaces you, you actually have articular cartilage. We all know that whenever two uh, bony uh, surfaces where you have an article where you have a joint meeting uh, that region you have articular cartilage. So this is the region where you have articular cartilage and uh, you also know that in the knee uh, there is something known as the meniscus. Meniscus on, uh, if I'm drawing a coronal section here, on a coronal section, the meniscus will be appearing like a triangle. This will be the base region of the meniscus and this will be the uh, the articular surfaces, both the articular surface of the meniscus. So you have a similar meniscus over here. Okay, so uh, what actually you see here as this space, this is called the radiological joint space, radiological joint space so the radiological joint space is actually uh, in reality it is filled with cartilage so it is actually the region where you have cartilage uh, since cartilage is radiolucent you actually see it through uh, that is why you are seeing it as a, as a space but it is actually not anatomically it is not a space it is just a radiological space but that space is filled with cartilage you can see a corresponding uh, articular cartilage in uh, MRI and you can see that in the proton density images you can see the lateral side you can see both the cartilages more seen in PD fat sat sequence uh, you can see how the bone ends here this this black signal uh, that low signal area will be the bone and between these bones you have the cartilage this cartilage is uh, very important to be assessed and now let us look at another x-ray in which you can see that that space that you saw earlier in the in that earlier x-ray that space is a little bit obliterated uh, you can see that obliteration of the joint space on the medial side over here this is another image where you can see a gross obliteration of that radiological joint space so when you uh, see that joint space is lost it means that that much cartilage is lost classically seen in osteoarthritis these this is a mild case of an osteoarthritis and uh, uh, this is a, a severe case of an osteoarthritis where you have uh, a, a significant loss of the radiological joint space due to loss of the articular cartilage. Articular cartilage is a hyaline variety of cartilage and since it is radiolucent you see it as a space as you see in this image. This space is actually filled with cartilage. Thank you.